Hello, and this will actually be a follow-up video to my previous post where I made an in-depth in -depth review of my ARS RTX 3090 Water Block Edition. And my brother-in-law actually mentioned to me the, the video was simply too long. It may confuse some people, especially those who just skip right on to the conclusion part. And where I mentioned uh, I consider it a bad purchase, well, here's the thing. About the card, it's fantastic. It's great. Uh, am I happy with it? Certainly. It's a 3090. And if you guys want to see its uh, benchmark results, uh, I, I have in the previous video. Simply watch that. And it will show how great the card is. So, yeah. I, I'm really satisfied with the card. Especially its performance. But, will I be recommending it though? Well, no. Being happy with it, and recommending it to another person, they're, they're quite different. What I really find irritating is their claim. It says in their website, Water Force Cooling System, designed for DIY PC enthusiasts, aiming to create unique custom loop builds and achieve the highest possible performance in silence, yours provides an all-around cooling solution as critical parts like GPU, VRAM, and MOSFET are actively cooled to ensure, to ensure uh, system stability under high overclocks. That's a bold claim. What I think happened when they were designing this all-round cooling solution, the whole team uh, working for this uh, water force cooling system huddled around the PCB trying to figure out that all-round cooling solution and all of them forgot to flip the PCB over where half of the RAMs are. And when they finally finished designing the block and put it together, that's when they realized there are rams at the back. And they they went like, okay, let's just put in pads in there and slam a back plate on it and hope no one notices. I just find that unfair. Uh, unfair after having a, or giving this claim. Uh, I find it amateur-ish. So that reason... That is the reason why I won't be recommending it to another person. But as for the card, I'm I'm really happy with it. And no, uh, for my friends out there, I, I won't be selling my card even at the same price. So that's how I that's how happy I am with it. And but if you're one of those people or where you're going to be buying this one, hoping that it will solve or it will have wondrous uh, thermal uh, indications, uh, better look for another card. That's why I'm actually recommending to just buy a regular 3090 with an, the air-cooled one and just buy a separate water block. That way you could add in the option for the active backplate that EK provides. Uh, that may be a better solution for you. Why? Because at, in that way, in case, let's say, uh, your loop fails, you still have a spare air cooler and you get to use your GPU still. So it may be a better option for you. And I hope, again, I, I hope this video will help someone or clarify some confusion out there. And uh, Michael, I, I hope this video is pretty short for you and satisfy you. <laughs> And uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe as well if you wanna, and see you in the next one.